By the middle of the 19th century, asbestos was being mined in a number of countries. Its uses were diverse and sometimes a little surprising. It didn't take long for the mineral's insidious health effects to present themselves. 1899, Britain. A 33-year-old asbestos carder achieved a grim place in history, the first official asbestos-related death. Confirmation of asbestos as a health hazard followed quickly in France, Italy, Britain and the United States. But full understanding of the extent of the risk came slowly. One of the curious things is that different problems have been recognised at, at different times. For example, asbestosis, the, the, the scarring disease in the lungs, was probably first recognised at the turn of the 20th century. Um, and legislation was enacted to protect people for that by about the 1930s. However, it wasn't until later, in about the 1950s, that the hazard of, of lung cancer was recognised, and it wasn't until a seminal paper in 1960 that the hazard from mesothelioma was, was first appreciated. The key asbestos health issue is associated with the inhalation of fibres. In the early days of asbestos use, there was no understanding of risk and no protection. But by 1930, concerns about asbestos led to recommendations including control of dust exposure and education of workers about the health hazards associated with the material. To understand the health risks associated with asbestos, it's essential to have a basic understanding of our respiratory system. There's been some research which suggests an asbestos link to other conditions, including cancer of the larynx and stomach. This research has not been conclusive, so it's the respiratory system to which we look for primary asbestos issues. The respiratory system's role is to provide oxygen to the body's cells via the lungs. The body has a number of natural defence mechanisms designed to stop foreign particles from reaching the inner organs. For asbestos to be a health risk, it must be airborne and respirable. In other words, small enough to reach the alveoli in the lung. It needs to be not more than three microns wide, which is smaller than a human hair. The more a person has been exposed to asbestos, the greater the likelihood of contracting an asbestos-related disease. Most people have some asbestos fibres in their lungs, from sources like old car brake pads and the like. But it is highly unlikely that this level of exposure would trigger disease. There are three main diseases associated with exposure to asbestos mesothelioma, asbestosis and lung cancer. We'll look at them one at a time. First, mesothelioma. And mesothelioma is, is unique in that it's related in particular to exposure to blue asbestos and with blue asbestos exposure disease can follow many years after relatively slight exposure. There have been instances for example of children growing up in Wittenoom which is the town where they mine blue asbestos who subsequently develop mesothelioma simply from the incidental exposure from living, living in the town. Uh, mesothelioma is a cancer of the membrane surrounding the outside of the lungs and it's characterised by the development of usually of chest pain. It can be quite a severe and debilitating disease, it's a, it's a nasty cancer and uh, the treatment we have available at the moment is, is not particularly effective although there's some research going on and unfortunately the outcome, the prognosis is usually very poor. Whilst mesothelioma is mainly related to exposure to amphibole asbestos types, that is, brown and blue asbestos, there is evidence linking this disease to white asbestos as well. Australia is believed to have the highest incidence of mesothelioma in the world, around 40 cases per million of population. The rate in other industrialised countries which have mined and used asbestos, like the United States, England, Canada and South Africa, have similar but slightly lower rates of the disease. Asbestosis tends to be found in people who have experienced very high exposure to the substance, for example, people working in asbestos mines. 
With asbestos mining finished in Australia and most other industrialised countries, asbestosis is a disease of the past. Sadly, as is the case with mesothelioma, asbestosis is incurable. Asbestosis is a, was the first disease recognised and that occurs where the lung tissue tends to scar up in response to the asbestos fibres in the lungs. Uh, breathing becomes more difficult, people can become short of breath. Uh, the good news is that asbestosis only ever resulted from higher levels of exposure and at the sort of exposures we're seeing now in this country we don't see cases of new asbestosis. Uh, but the only treatment is really to remove people from exposure and uh, stop its further progression. The last of the three asbestos-related illnesses we're looking at here is lung cancer, specifically bronchogenic carcinoma. Asbestos has been demonstrated to uh, cause an increased incidence in two sorts of lung cancer. First of all, there's bronchogenic carcinoma, which is really the ordinary you know, variety of lung cancer which people get from a, from a variety of causes. And uh, looking at it under the microscope, you can't tell the difference whether it's been caused by asbestos or smoking or, or whatever. However, we know that pe people who work with asbestos have a higher rate of developing this cancer. Again, the treatment options are, uh, are relatively poor. Surgery helps in some cases, but uh, it's certainly not a disease for which there's a universally successful treatment. With all these diseases, the risk increases with the amount of exposure. However, there have been cases where people have developed mesothelioma from a very low level of exposure to asbestos. For this reason, controlling asbestos exposure is a very important workplace health and safety issue. Nobody really knows how many lives have been lost over the years as a consequence of exposure to asbestos. But the World Health Organization estimates that today around 125 million people are still being occupationally exposed to asbestos. That level of exposure could lead to a staggering 90,000 deaths every year.